Hello everyone and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. This week I have decided to burn another writer on a wooden bookmark. I have chosen Howard Phillips Lovecraft, the extremely influential horror writer of the 20th century. I have chosen this picture for the reference, mostly because I just love it when one half of her face is much darker than the other. It is a real present for a monochrome picture. But his face features are quite challenging for me, because they appear somehow unconventional. You are watching Werewolf Pyrography, I am Werewolf, let's go! I call the face of Lovecraft unconventional, because I am not used to work with these types of faces. He has a quite long face with prominent chin. Also his eyes look really intense, as if seeing something which no one else can. This means that if I burn one little detail a bit off, his whole face might end up cartoonish. That is why I outline everything with my spear pen as carefully as I can. I also use my spear pen for some basic shading. This surface is not easily scratched, so it is possible to use a sharp burner for more precision. I increase the heat and touch the bookmark very lightly to achieve the desired effect. The shape and shading of his eyes are extremely important, because they determine this intense look. I have to hold my breath now, because one mistake might ruin everything, and I will not be able to correct it. Now I can take my spoon pen to do some darker and smoother shading. And of course, I happily shade the left side of his face dark.
shading of his chin is also very tricky. Darker spot has to be exactly in the right place and not one millimeter off, otherwise he would look like a horror character or just some sort of a caricature. To be honest, I have never liked horror literature or movies, because sometimes I got so scared that I could not sleep easily for days, especially as a kid. But this week was much scarier for me as any horror fiction could possibly be. That is why I felt like I had nothing to lose making myself busy with Lovecraft. Some years ago, my husband was translating the game called Sinking City, which was based on Lovecraft's universe. He always enjoys working with this publisher named Frogwares, because it manages to stay quite idealistic in the gaming world, which is getting more and more machine-like. But they are based in Kyiv, so it is not hard to imagine what they are going through right now. I am happy with the head, so I can work on his clothes. Nothing fancy here, just a suit with a tie. I think this is the easiest part.
I want to give this portrait some vibes of Lovecraft's world, so I add several limbs of a mysterious sea creature behind his head. a bit of dark shading on top of the bookmark to make it more interesting. With my white pit artist pen brush, I draw all kinds of highlights. After that, I burn a hole on top to insert a tassel. And now Lovecraft is finished! What do you think about this portrait? Share your thoughts and criticism in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please support me with your likes, subscribe and click the bell button not to miss my new videos. I would be very happy to welcome you next week in my new pyrography journey. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!